123 years, Poland was an occupied nation. But World War I brought defeat to the three powers that had partitioned and subjugated the Polish homeland. Germany and Austria lost the war. Russia was plunged into a bloody civil war by the Bolshevik Revolution. In November of 1918, after more than a century of bondage, Poland and her people regained their independence. Send a wire. To Moscow. The Kremlin. To the attention of Comrade Lenin. At this particular moment, seeing the defeat of the White Generals, I recommend that the help of our superior Red Army should be extended immediately to our allies in Poland in their fight against bourgeois forces of that government. From the Polish Soviet Republic to the Worldwide Revolution. Signed by Leon Trotsky, People's Commissar for Military and Naval Affairs. Will the Politburo support taking this action? Poland is an impediment, separating the revolutions of Russia and Europe. One that should be dealt with. Thank you, Comrade Stalin. In favor? Then it's agreed, comrades. First we take Poland, then on to Germany, Italy, England, then the world! But our alleged poetry belongs in a chamber pot! It's time for us to develop a new artistic soul! 
Let's dispose <laughs> of bourgeois empty Dadaism! Done with it! Done with it! <laughs> Down with it! Our program now will draw from proletarian style on an <laughs> Wankers of the world come together! My dear friends, I suggest content that is a little more patriotic. <laughs> we'll be accused of Bolshevik agitation. The Major is correct. Please now, patriotism. If you would. Ladies, you'll, you'll be proud and merry! Give a patriot your cherry! <laughs> A change of pace, you're late again. Good evening. It seems our unit's being mobilized. Jesus and Mary. A little time back in uniform will do him good. Cure him of that futurist nonsense. Oh, no, no, no. Nonsense is my specialty. Am I not right? of hearts. <laughs> <laughs> How are they able to do that? Uh, well, they are both excellent card counters. Have you ever considered making use of your talents in Monte Carlo? Well, there's this blacklist I'm on. Yeah, I'm on it too. <laughs> <laughs> Ignaz, that you? Yes, and God's blessing on you too. Now, will you please go get Father Skorupa? He's asleep, beyond belief. Go wake him up, please. The courier for him. Yes, the one for the bishops. What else? Now go get him for me, and no more delay. <laughs> 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 
Gentlemen, and I am duly impressed. <laughs> Captain Kotseba, with your permission, I shall ask the lady to dance. I would be honored immensely. You are a most ravishing young woman. She dances only on stage. But the young man... Ah, that was someone special. And what are you suggesting? Enough, you can leave now. Excuse me? You are dismissed. Sweet! I must require total satisfaction at once! <sighs> what is the problem here, Captain? The problem? The disrespect of a stain has been done to the uniform of Poland! Bartender, was the vodka straight? Yes, it was, sir. Straight vodka can stain neither honor nor a uniform. <laughs> Master of Horse, call up half left! This man and woman declare their love within the Mother Church. Lord, bestow your blessings on them and protect them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless and consecrate these two rings as a symbol of their love, expressed through Christ our Lord. Now seal your sacred vows by exchanging them. I give you this ring. It's a sign of fidelity and love for you. I give you this ring as a sign of love and fidelity.
Could this be a mistake? How is the West going to react? To news of this offensive on Kiev? I don't care, Prime Minister. First off, we and the Soviets have already been at war, undeclared, for over a year. Secondly, our intelligence reports conclusively show that the Soviets are in the process of mounting an offensive that we will head off. And third, but first in importance, an ethnic Poland would not be strong enough to defend herself on the east against white or red Russia simultaneously with Germany on the west. That's why I want a federation composed of independent states, other nations that have something at stake because they used to be part of Polish territory, which is why I agreed to provide Hetman Petliura with assistance in liberating Ukraine from the plague of Bolshevists. Once we have Kiev, we'll return it to Ukraine. accept my most sincere congratulations. An excellent victory. I was wrong. Unless Hetman Pelyura receives the full and complete support of the Ukrainians, then the effort is pointless.
Sir, you're looking at Budione's first cavalry. Photographed by the American volunteers flying for us. Nothing to cause us worry. Come again? In this war, cavalry has zero significance. With respect, sir, this is a mobile army unit, not a horse squad. Insignificant. Even if it were Napoleon, cavalry could never break through the lines of our infantry. Look at the defensive weaponry we have. Machine guns, tanks, and aircraft. That's true. <clears throat> we do have one tank regiment and an air squadron available. Vianyovsky, the days of the cavalry are over now. The receiver reminds me of a meat cleaver. Not a very good one, either. Yours is crap from Russia. <laughs> it still took down a whole lot of you Prussians. Well, maybe, but we kicked your asses. Because the Tsarina was German, remember? Huh? Concentrate on what you're doing, man. You're begging to be caught off guard. Huh. Huh. Lermontov. Toss that Soviet propaganda. But it's Lermontov. You mean their commissar? Throw it away. Why don't we go back? The Bolshies are long gone, sir. Look at the sun. We're missing lunch. You like horse meat that much? Believe me, I can sure do without it. The Bolsheviks say that existence influences what you think about. I can see you're clearly fascinated by them. They give people land to work on. And working the land will give your life meaning. A horse is better than a woman. You are responsible for this. How? Mm, wonderful. <laughs> a charming photo. Have a look. Our troops are like a sort of patchwork quilt of humanity. While Polish is their common language, all they talk about is fighting each other in the Great War. And conflicts arise. Ex-Russian cuirassiers against ex-Prussian hussars or soldiers from Austrian troops. Bolsheviks are not to be seen anywhere, and the rumor mill says that very soon we will be replaced by the Ukrainians. Camped here on the banks of the Dnieper River, we can only be patient. I cannot tell you how much I miss your soft hands and lips. I'm afraid the rest is only for me. <laughs> Oh, you. Got any cigarette rolling papers? No. Uh -uh. Come here. I'll help you out. What's that then? A booklet, Bolshevik propaganda, the perfect thing to be setting on fire. <laughs> Dear comrade Polish workers and slaves, <laughs> greetings to our brothers fighting in the Polish army. You must make every effort to remove support for the Polish bourgeois. <laughs> Let the capitalists now discover that they're alone in the midst of the historic proletariat of the Polish-Russian peoples. <laughs> Dumb, unable to speak against the power, chiming. Okay. So again, you're agitated. But sir, he you'll was only... be quiet. I'm not deaf. What do you have there? Yeah, nothing. He carries a picture of a whore around. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Against the superior and for promoting Bolshevism. 
It's hot as hell in here. Let's finish this. All right. <laughs> Having been proven guilty of sedition and sign defeatism, the accused officer, platoon leader Jan Klinitsky, is hereby sentenced to death by firing squad and will be executed at dawn. Execution? Remove him. What for? What? I'm innocent! What are you doing? Say something! I'm innocent! I didn't do anything! said a word in there to defend him. If that bothers you, say it yourself. That's exactly what I'll do. You're just begging for trouble. What if he really is a Bolshevik? <laughs> it's the Reds! In your guns! <laughs> Bolsheviks attacked, and Jan's platoon has not been heard from. Is he dead? We don't know. He is dead. We don't know.
senza pan Pero son una monguila Ya voy You were to be shot for airing your views on communism. Party member? No. I was accused wrongfully. Is that so? What are your politics? Progressive. Hmm. In that case, a non-party communist. Not precisely, thank you. I need a writer to generate our leaflets in Polish. They exiled me in 1905. My Polish is a little rusty. Let's be quite clear on this. You're talking to Komisar Bikowski. I'm a Czechist. You've heard of the Cheka? I've heard. The secret police? We're not the police. Cheka. The Extraordinary Commission for Combating Counter-Revolution. The greatest invention of our revolution. The French Revolution invented the guillotine, which was a step forward from beheading with an axe. But the guillotine's effect was limited, which is why the revolution in France failed. Whereas Cheka is so effective that before the revolution takes over the entire earth, every single enemy of the people will have been eliminated. Is that clear? I think so. Wrong! In Cheka, you don't think unless you are Comrade Jerzinski. What our job is, is to maintain that effectiveness. Not nice to stare. Pretty damn attractive, huh? There's a lot of men who want a piece of that. <laughs> but only I'm allowed to fuck her. She's my war wife, Sofia Nikolaevna. <laughs> oh, she's a wild one, won't be tamed by anyone. She used to be married to a czarist colonel. We hang the bastard. Let's go. Make some tea, huh? You'll keep wearing your uniform. Let people see. We've recruited some Poles as well. Welcome, distinguished gentlemen of Poland. Which one accused you? I don't want to punish them. <laughs> Bourgeois religious morality? <laughs> All right then. Bielski! 
Ah, that's you. Forgive me, my dear Major. Yesterday you were the judge, and today you're the one on trial. You win some and you lose some. Uh, fortune's with you one day, not so much the next. People's justice. That's the name given to it by Comrade Jerzinski. <laughs> Officers, step up. Questioning is now on the program. Soldiers, we're going to Poland. Not as an enemy force, but to free her workers and peasants from the yoke of the present bourgeois regime. To get rid of your nobles and establish a new Polish Republic. Who will join us in the People's Army? Volunteer, step forward! What was that? The officers tried to escape. Uh, hell, it happened again. There's no one to interrogate. Take them away! Did anyone witness his death? No. Then believe he's still alive. You mean to live myself? No, just believe. He is in God's hands. I will go say Mass. I won't pray for his soul, but for his return. Comrades, there are no more masters. We're in power now. Everything, all that you see here, belongs to you. And to prove it, we're going to appoint a committee of the revolution. Name your candidates. Now don't be shy, comrades. I see you need a little help here. You! All right, here you go. You! Come back here. You're not going anywhere. No, sir. No, sir. Good man. You! No, you don't. You! <laughs> you! Don't worry, brother. You're going to like it. Does anyone object to these candidates? Anyone abstaining? Nobody. So then they are approved unanimously.
The palaces and mansions will now belong to the honest members of the working class, not the families of their former oppressive bourgeois regime. But first you will turn the buildings into shithouses, right? So, your well-bred nose is offended by the odor of shit, right? Hmm, I'll explain. Where did the workers and farmers shove their dear masters and exploiters? In their poop shoots. Seems that capitalism lays heavy in their guts. Now they have to shit it out to fix things so they can feel better, be healthy. Why did you stay here? When the masters ran, the servants all went into the village. Who's going to take care of the cows? You know? The cows? Of course. They need to be fed and milked. You have to leave here now. Not to worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Let's have a few! <laughs> <laughs> You better learn how to knock next time I shoot you. Stop staring. I've got hemorrhoids. Shut the door. Come on, more hot water. Uh, be careful. What are you trying to boil my nuts off for me? What's the rush? They're raping a girl in the barn. That's all right. Just a little one fucky. What? <laughs> That's what one boy from China gave us an excuse before they shot him. Not because he was caught raping an old hag, but because he left his post. If every one he fucky left his post because he was horny, we would have lost the revolution long ago. Don't you care how it looks? The Red Army's mission here is supposed to be freeing the oppressed. Not raping workers. What do you mean, workers? Wait a minute. Not the wife of the owner. No. The milk girl. A proletarian? Those motherfuckers! <clears throat> what brave young soldiers. Eager to take advantage. Not so much to confess. What about you? Recognize anyone? I was blind. My face was covered by my skirt. Hmm. Who was the first? Who was it? You? No, sir. Comrade Commissar. You? No, sir. Comrade Commissar. I'll tell you. It was me. You are? Soldier Ivanov. Well, you're going to be shot. You're an enemy of the workers. Why is that? Why? For hostile activities. Is that sufficient? That's not going to make any difference. No one wants to get married to a girl with no honor left. Not an old man, or even a cripple. Ah, I see. So, that's how it is. Ivanov! Sir, you can avoid being shot. Your choice, if you marry the girl. <laughs> I think I'd rather get shot. You care to explain why? The men will laugh. <laughs> Would you laugh? <laughs> <laughs>
He made his choice. Comrade Jerzinski used to say ringleaders must always be eliminated. That's the real danger. Anyone who's first at anything is a threat to the people's revolution. That's why we execute all officers. An army without them is not an army. A nation without leaders is not a nation. Would you agree? Good evening to you, lovely lady. Recognize me? Yes, I do. I take it that you have already heard about the treason your husband has committed. I must say, I'm so sorry. What are you saying? I've heard nothing. So you didn't know? He has met and joined the Bolsheviks. He is alive? He's alive? Yes, which is why this situation is so tragic. It doesn't appear that you fully appreciate the gravity. Should this treasonous behavior come to be publicized, it's very likely you would be fired and then jailed. That's true. Unless... someone of great reputation were to vouch for you. Someone like you? That is exactly correct. And why would you want to do that for me? Let's say I have a weakness for you. Then take vitamins and exercise. Good evening to you. You listen to me, doll. Are you really so anxious to get yourself imprisoned to be raped three times a day with a toilet brush? Better think it over. My visiting card in the bouquet. Tukhachevsky's a pure military genius. The Poles think that because the railroad tracks are different than ours, it makes it harder to move provisions and ammunition. But loading what we need on a few thousand peasant wagons? That solves the problem. A few days will be in Warsaw. Airplanes? Airplanes! Airplanes! Goodbye now, comrade. What's that? I'm leaving. But you're a communist! Well, you cured me of that. Once and for all. You son of a bitch! <laughs> you're empty! I counted the shots. Sofia, quick! The other pistol! Come on, Sofia, quick! Give it! 
You bitch. Come on. Come with me, quick! Too late. I... There is sin in my soul. But I wanted to live. Because... Death is dark. For the Holy Lord. Sophia. Nikolaevna. I'm not Russian Orthodox. We are all loved by God. And He. Get on your feet. Now. Hurry up. Two on the outside. What? Nice work, my friend. You were just about to get the best of them, right? <laughs> I'm trying to understand what it is that made you Cossacks decide to come fight with us. What could you possibly gain shooting your own people? Do I help Poland? It's not about Poland. Poland's your reason. But if the Bolsheviks defeat you, we'll lose our freedom next. Who did you leave at home? My wife. My friend, you have a lot to fight for. But all I have, my revenge. Люба, Люба, брат, скажи. Maybe something a bit stronger? Hmm. I'll have a look. Dance with me? I'd rather get to the important business. Well then, get comfortable. Hey, oh. 
Hey, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? I'm shocked. You've got ladies present in the room, Pipsqueak. Jesus! Oh, no! How about some champagne? And just a bit of fortified spirit. Or the flames of Moscow, as the Russians put it. All right, open up, old boy. And here's to you. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, see, careful. You don't want to waste it. Bottoms up. <laughs> All right, move back. Move back here. Let us in. He's a Bolshevik. You all right? Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Stand up. Stand. Hey, look at me. Uh, <laughs> you. Get out of here. <laughs> Great. Our dear sweet captain has just volunteered and is headed to the front. <laughs> Victory, girls! In war, if you run away, you're wrong. Yeah, and you were defeated in Russia, too. <laughs> not everywhere, and not all. There's a saying, the forest will always grow back. They can't kill all of us, and we never tire of killing them. <laughs> No, it was this bad. People of Poznan are upset by developments at the front. They can't understand how things could come to such a sorry pass. So logically, they smell treason. And the scent comes from here. What is that? Volunteers joining the army. Women? Gentlemen, don't worry, we're safe. Those girls will have the Bolsheviks running scared. <laughs> morning, gentlemen. Good morning. And what can we do for you, madame? We're raising money for medical supplies and bandages. Will you assist us by making a donation? Oh, of course. Gents, it's our duty. Thank you so much. Hola. Good morning. Hola, good morning. How lovely to see you. Thank you. Oh, you look worried. We're all a little worried these days. That's why we have to be good actresses, my dear. I'm on my last legs, but when our soldiers are suffering up at the front, I can't allow myself to relax. So I've learned to focus my energy. On what things? Multitudes of causes. Charity day in and day out. Endless choices. Donations to send candy. A taste of home to our soldiers. That's splendid. I admire patriotism, but I'm sure you'll agree that that is going much too far. A woman should always act like a woman. There, for her man. Hmm. I believe you're right. Hold. Hope you find who you're looking for. We look for ours. Good luck, my friend. Time to part ways. <laughs> Maybe we'll meet again. 
Let's move. Piece of gear, huh? Very. Gun layer, step aside now. Yes, sir. Attention. You will assume the firing position. Ah, uh, you don't know what it is. It's like this. Down on your knee. Grip both hands. Once more. Attention. Now, assume the firing position. Just like a rifle. Rear sight, B. If it should jam on you, just flip it open and remove the case. Close the flap. Reload twice. And... Take aim and... Fire! That was lousy. Again. And this time you will do better. Ready? Aim... Fire! Fantastic! I hope you are paying close attention, gun layer. That's how it should be done. Yes, sir. Yes. Well done, soldier. Now you know how to shoot. Gunner, stand by! Target to the south! Yes, Sergeant! Target to the south! Cavalry. That's for grown-ups. Don't waste my time, you child. Well, I'm 18. I'm, I'm 16 already. Get out of here. You're going to get a taste of my belt. Go on. Next grown-up! Now look. Here's the proof. This says I was born in 1904, right there in black and white. All right. I don't see anything. An ink stain? Not my problem. There's the proof. <sighs> you little lawyer. Good boy. Hope the uniform fits. Next in line. All right, you scouts. Medical battalion. Next in line. Both of us. What, do you like the smell of gunpowder? You can sniff that too. <laughs> we need to go to radio telegraphy. And just why radio telegraphy? Because we already know what to do with it. Two years, Austrian army. Hmm. Signal call. It's not enough to just get replacements for the casualties. We have to breathe new life into the ranks of those who have been demoralized by the Polish retreat. You, General Haller, will be taking command of the volunteer army. Huh? Thank you, First Marshal. Everyone volunteers in towns and cities, but those from villages are reluctant. They seem to be completely indifferent to the Bolshevik invasion. That will soon change. First Marshal, Prime Minister Grabsky. Excuse me, General.
limiting the Polish army to 50,000 soldiers, surrendering surplus arms, and opening a corridor to East Prussia, pulling back our field troops to west of the Bug River? How could you, the Polish Prime Minister, negotiate these terms for a mere armistice at the hands of the Soviet forces? It makes us completely dependent on Russia. The fact is, we do not have an effective army. It's good enough for us to win if we only believe in victory, lose our faith, and we lose the war. You don't know what you're doing, nor what you've done. I await your resignation. I had no choice. You may leave. I have nothing else to say to you. Vianava. Please locate Mr. Vitos. Bring him here immediately. Chairman. What do you need? The First Marshal would very much like to see you. Mr. Chairman, as the widely respected peasant leader, I need to know, would you be willing to head a new government of national unity? I'll do that on one condition. That is? Well, I need to know that I can return home in time to get in the harvest. <clears throat> oh, well, I have no choice but to accept. May I ask you, sir, how you'll begin governing? With an appeal to the Polish people. Prime Minister Vitos' appeal! Prime Minister Vitos' appeal! My fellow peasants, wherever you may be in Poland, this moment is crucial for our country, so I do not ask, I demand that every one of us do our duty. Now's the time. The battlefields, the front lines, and the war are awaiting all of those who have sufficient faith to pick up a weapon and defend our nation. Dear sisters and mothers, you must close your houses and guard your farms against the invasion of deserters from war. You are threatened with disgrace and destruction, and they sit at home, avoiding the service, the cowards! All borough and village leaders must make sure that not a single deserter tries to hide in their settlements, and that every able-bodied villager joins the army! <laughs>
Sofia Nikolaevna. Can't pray to things, you know. Wrath of God would descend on you. Why is that? God's already got everything planned. Which little horsefly sits on which pile of shit? He won't change things just because of someone's prayer. Otherwise, we'd be in a bigger mess than we are. That's nonsense. I don't believe it. Nothing is planned out. Stop shaking, Mourinho, or you'll spill things. But they're shooting. You see this? All cowards. And yet, what is it they call the peasants? The hell for society. And we're the upper-class plague, no doubt. And it's the peasants that rot. Don't you see it? Rotting with Bolshevism. Did you just say I'm rotting? No, not you. Peasants in general. Now scratch my back. Being Kloska's my name. Happy to make your acquaintance. Ola Krinitska. Pleasure to meet you too. Marina, take the gun! Jesus, stop! Stop! We are going to the town of Radzimin, only 15 kilometers away from Warsaw. In a short time, we shall liberate the capital of Poland, and then hasten to rescue the revolutionary proletariat in Germany. And also, we shall hasten to rescue the revolutionary proletariat in France. Comrade delegates to the Comintern Congress, we 
start our efforts with a socialist Europe, but our goal is a worldwide revolution. We've successfully deciphered hundreds of Soviet codes, but now the bastards have introduced a new one. The son of a bitch is impossible to break. Have you ever seen anything like this? Did you do a frequency analysis? We've identified a few different cycles, but they're just not consistent. <laughs> you think what I think? Mm -hmm. A Caesar cipher. With a double or a triple shift, yep. What do you mean by that? You've been working with it on the basis of the Russian alphabet as the key scheme. Try the Latin one, 26 letters. And you both know Latin. Mmm, ad unum omnes. Oh, yes, indeed. First Marshal, excuse me. I said I didn't want to be disturbed. The head of the Cypher Bureau. Sir, so they've been able to crack the code for Soviet radio telegraphy. They're down there reading Tukhachevsky's orders. What? I want them here now. Sir, Lieutenant Jan Kovaleski. Let's see those orders, son. Do you understand just how significant this communication is? That is the reason I'm here, First Marshal. If this is confirmed, you'll get the Medal of Virtue. Yes, sir. If it doesn't pan out, then I will have you shot. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, the fact is we're too weak for an effective defense, and so we have to attack them. Thanks to intelligence received from our radio corps, we believe we have discovered two secrets. The cavalry army under the commander Budioni is stationed nearby Levyu, while Tukhachevsky is redirecting the forward elements of his fourth army further down to the southeast to launch a strike on Sikorsky. If Budione makes a move, the first thing he'll need to do is to take Zamosht. And that town is going to be fiercely defended by the Ukrainian, Commander Bezrushko. This will create a gap where the Bolsheviks have their front line established. Observe, Budione here, and the Mazir group here. Here, between these two armies, is where we launch our counter-offensive. The river, Vyepsh. I will be in full command. General Rozhvadovsky will document appropriate orders in writing. A splendid plan, but we don't have any reserves. Every unit we have is now on the battlefield. Yes, you are correct. And that is exactly why we have to disengage our best units from other actions and strike from here. It's something no one would expect. A great risk, First Marshal. What do we do if our troops yield to the pressure of the enemy forces? and Warsaw falls before we can attack. Then you will have to stop the enemy at the outskirts of the city, in whatever way you can do it, until my forces are then able to regroup and reform. That's our only chance. If you fear Waterloo, you'll never get Austerlitz. Just one last effort and Warsaw belongs to us! The revolution in Poland is just a start! In Berlin! And then, brothers and sisters, the rest of Europe! Let's go! Let's free Warsaw! Hurrah! 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 Death to the Polish proprietors! Death to the Polish capitalists, too! Forward, we march to victory! Hurrah, comrades! Hurrah! 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 Liberate Warsaw now!
calls and forceps. Take this. Get rid of it. He doesn't need it anymore. Start dressing the wound. Nurse, you need to start keeping up with me. We're getting beaten everywhere. The Bolsheviks, they swarm just like cockroaches. It's impossible to kill all of them. I'm worried. But they also say that there'll be a miracle on the Assumption Day. And then, the tables are going to turn. Marine, you stop babbling like that. They'll take you for some kind of thickhead. Well, that's what people are saying. Soldiers! <coughs> Soldiers! Soldiers! Who can hold a weapon? Mount up! We need you in the trenches! News from town? The diplomatic corps has evacuated. And the papal nuncio? Monsignorati is quite visible. That's very good. The church knows what it's doing. So now, we have to assemble all of our cavalry together in a single unit under the command of Colonel Rommel. Two hundred and third volunteer cavalry, ninth rifleman regiment. At ease. What are your losses? Ah, over half our men. Can you manage two more days? Yes, sir. We can, provided we have support and a supply of ammunition. I want your lancers. But general, sir, I'm not asking. The Bolsheviks are in the trenches. Bolsheviks are now in the trenches. You need assemble. Form rank! Fix! Bayonets! I now absolve you from all of your sins. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Ghost. God, pray for us sinners. Now, and at the hour of our death. Lord, you blessed Poland. 
for many hundreds of years, shedding your light and power upon her as token of your holy love. Forward! Message for the commander. Clearing the path for us, Ed. Message from the front. Later. This was found on a dead Polish officer. Yes, I agree that would work well. Orders from Pilsudski. Apparently, comrade. A counteroffensive. It seemed important, comrade. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. That's not possible. It's a masquerade. He's trying to pull us away from Warsaw. If I were him, I wouldn't take the risk. But then... They could force a wedge right here. They want that. Get me the 4th Cavalry Army. We'll correct their orders. Right. Don't use the code. Let's make sure they're actually reading us. No response, comrade. Is the other machine on? The Poles are jamming us. They're on our frequency and they keep sending the same stuff. It's, it's, it's maddening. What? Read it. It's the Holy Scriptures. What? It's the Holy Scriptures. Those bastard Jesuits. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening, and the morning were the first day. And then God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters to separate the waters. So you're jamming them, right? Yes, we're jamming them, correct. What is that text? The Bible. Maybe they'll convert. We can't afford to fail. In war, it's all in the hands of God. Warsaw is a city where streets are covered with chocolate sauce. Expensive shops and stores, silver and gold, fur shops, luxury bourgeois apartments. All of this will be yours. So let's take Warsaw!
Jesus! Please help Marinia. Aurelia! Help Marinia. Oh, stay with me!
Piłsudski and his forces in Poland have done a great deal of damage to our global revolution. Our next socialist state will be elsewhere. Wonderful victory, First Marshal. Yes, and our compatriots will attribute it to someone else. <laughs> You're right. They'll probably call it a miracle. Miracle? I'm sure they will. The Vistula miracle. You know, Vianyava, you may be right. <laughs> You're here. I promised you. I meant. 